dollar nigga, homie. You looking like a real sucker in them comments, my nigga. Now, you bragging about you didn't pay. Yeah, you right, homie. I, I didn't charge you nothing, nigga. I kept it 100 with you, nigga. But say, nigga, how you gonna say you fuck with me and don't know nothing about me, but you bringing me around your son, your girl. You brought me all up in your house. You taking me out to eat. Nah, nigga, you rolled my dick now. You paid. Nah, 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 nah. You paid now, nigga. Don't act like you didn't pay. Nah, nah, you pay, nigga. You dick roll like a motherfucker, nigga. You ought to be pregnant the way you roll my dick. Yeah, yeah, nigga, and I bless your game, cause nigga, you don't, you, 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 your views don't do like with, with Charleston White, so don't get too cocky, millionaire, nigga. Them big old slow punches you throwing, nigga, you ain't no killer, nigga. Ain't nothing about you, no killer, nigga. You, nah, nigga, them slow ass punches you throwing, nigga. I know some niggas will make, make your knees buckle and make you poop and shit after you poop, nigga. I know some niggas will beat your body up, nigga. Big old slow ass, nigga. Now you cut it out, Tony the Closer. Nah, nigga, you ain't no gorilla. You a orangutan. You ain't no motherfucking silverback, nigga. You all in the motherfucking comment section talking, nigga. You ain't no motherfucking silverback, Tony the Closer. You a motherfucking orangutan, big slow punch throwing motherfucker. You don't even know how to put your hips into that shit, nigga. You show the throwing ass, nigga. I know a nigga dip right up under that and stay in your chest. Nigga, your chin ain't been tested, nigga. You better pipe down, big fella. No, yeah, no, you better pipe down, big fella. He a big old soft ass teddy bear, nigga. No, nah, you better, no, nah, you better quit barking like, no, nah, nigga, you a straight up mark, my nigga. And you a big scary nigga. No, nigga, stop talking like you what that is, nigga. You a big old millionaire, a woman beater, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Scare ass nigga. Nigga, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I, nigga, I, fuck, nigga, you don't, nigga, you brought me around your kids and your woman, homie. So don't get on here talking and faking and shaking, nigga. You brought me into your home, nigga. So stop faking and shaking with that. I hate you, and you an industry nigga, nigga. You your mother, nigga, you a nigga, please, nigga. You niggas ain't nothing like me, nigga. You now you on here insulting people because them niggas handling you. Nigga, you wrong. How is it you go bring a nigga around your woman, your two boys, your, your family, your relatives, introduce me to everybody, take me around, fly down and come see me. Nigga, you flew to Dallas to come see me, nigga. And then you asked for me to put, I put you with other people to do interviews and things. Come on, homie, now don't act like you wasn't trying to fuck with me. See, you a fuck boy ass nigga, homie. All you industry niggas, homie, you niggas don't know no loyalty, nigga. And you ain't stomped down and ten toes down on nothing, Mark. No, nigga, when the bitch said to you, nigga, and like I told you on the phone, nigga, when the bitch said me, no, nah, nigga, you said, well, he say, no, nah, homie, you threw me for a loop with that one. So, nigga, so if you ain't went and looked at me and me and you done chopped game, nigga, you done had your sons around me sitting at my feet listening to me. You got your cousin around you, nigga, praising me and worshiping me. Nigga, I took you to the academics video, all that, nigga. So, so you got all these people in your immediate family listening to me and you saying you don't know what I do. You a straight up hoe ass nigga, nigga. Nah, you a straight up hoe ass nigga, my nigga. And you in the bitch fire, sucker. Well, he say. So the bitch hadn't done no research and you hadn't done no research. Nigga, you been running behind me, kissing my ass, sucking my dick, nigga, and massaging the heel of my toe, nigga. Fuck you talking about you. You don't, nigga, you know something about me. What made you jump on my lap then? What made you bring me a gun, nigga? We can talk about it. What made you bring me the gun, nigga, in Miami? If you hadn't saw, what, what what had you been listening to that made you bring your girl and your sons when you brought me that gun in Miami for Soldier Boy? Huh? Tony the Closer. What made, what, what, what had, what did you know about me? So you mean to tell me a nigga you don't know. You go meet him with your woman and your children and bring this nigga a gun so he can hold a gun. Come on, nigga. And you don't know nothing about me? And you done that? Oh, nigga. Between your sons and your cousin around you. Nigga, I thought y'all knew everything about me. The way y'all talked and praised me. So you now you get in front of this bitch. You really scared of the bitch. I saw how you bowed and buckled to the bitch, nigga. Oh, you be, I don't want, boy, if you get... I saw how you bowed and buckled to the bitch. 
And then, nigga, I peep your play. How you really try to all charge and you crazy. No, nigga, you don't do what I do, nigga. You another nigga talking on the internet, nigga. You another nigga talking on the internet, Tony boy. Tony boy, you another nigga talking on the internet, nigga. Let me show you the difference between me and y'all niggas. Now listen up real good, Tony boy. You hear me? Listen, listen real good here, boy. You in the bitch. Yeah, nah, man, I'm sitting back thinking, nah, man, that nigga really trying to play on me. This nigga begged me, man, when can you come to Miami? This nigga always begging me, man, when you come to Miami? Man, we need to do something together. This nigga begging me for a partnership. This nigga begging me for a partnership. Come on, homie, don't do me like that, my nigga. And I kept it 100 with you. I never charged you for an interview, my nigga. Kept it 100 with you. On a simple fact, you brought me a gun, nigga. I kept it player with you. Not that I owed you nothing, nigga, but I see a simple fact, nigga, came and, and while I was in distress, I didn't need the gun. Because them Haitian niggas came too, nigga. I didn't need the gun. You voluntarily brought the gun without even talking to me, nigga. You want to jump in my lap so goddamn bad. Nigga, I kept it 100 with you, my nigga. So let me show you what you niggas don't do, my nigga. This is heartbreaking. Nigga, I, I knew you. I knew you was a... I knew you was a sidewinder kind of nigga. And mama say you don't never be mad at a motherfucker for who they are. Mama say you don't never be mad at a motherfucker for who they are and the type of person that they are. You don't be mad at them people for that. You deal with them accordingly. Now you done expose yourself, nigga. I ain't mad at who, I ain't mad at who you are. You done expose yourself, nigga. I'm dealing with you accordingly, nigga. No, no, you steady, you steady talking to me, man, I fuck with you. I fuck me, you my nigga, I fuck with you, dog. You call me every other day, I'm just checking on you. You acting like we brothers. That's how you playing on me, my nigga. You acting like me and you brothers. You acting like we friends. So I'm thinking you my partner, so I'm treating you like I would treat a friend, my nigga. Keeping it 100 with you all the way around. My nigga in town, say, homie, we go get some interviews, I'm going to get you. Now nah, I'm really throwing you out of the hoops, my nigga, but I see you really playing on me. Talking shit about a nigga. The numbers instantly go up. See, and this nigga think that he really doing something by coming out talking about rappers and and gangs and shit like that and making all this racket and noise. And he think the views are for him. The views is for the drama. The views is for the drama. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see? No, nah, see? See, the little, the little pussy done fucked up, though. Little broke-ass nigga done fucked up. Yeah, man, I uh, I did an interview a couple of days ago with Tasha K, and uh, the nigga motherfucking, I asked Tasha K what was her stance on Charleston White, what was her opinion on Charleston White, and the crazy part is, before I even did the interview with Tasha, I had reached out to Charleston, told the nigga, I said, yo, I said, yo, I'm about to do an interview with Tasha K, I know y'all got different stances, I said, you know, I'm going to try to set it up and organize it to where both of y'all can get y'all shit off. And then I bring y'all on the platform and y'all do like a mutual uh, debate. And I sit in the middle of that shit. So, uh, he was like, all right, I'll be there Tuesday. And then he called me. He was like, hey, hey somebody got an interview for me. They, uh, they going to pay me. So, you know, I'm going to go there and do that. I said, all right, we'll go do your interview, my nigga. It's cool. So we do the, uh. Me and Tasha do the interview. Tasha asked me, what what does Charleston White do? I said, he says he's a community activist. I said, I hadn't done my research. Which I hadn't. I hadn't done any research to see Charleston's background as far as uh, his activism or whatever. I seen him post some you know, clips of talking about some money that he's giving to people, but I've never actually seen, seen it myself. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to just stay out of that. I'm not going to co-sign saying some shit that I don't know. I done hung out with a nigga when when the uh he had got it he came to Miami for Rolling Loud. Um He came to Miami for Rolling Loud and when he came to Rolling Loud he ended up running into Soldier Boy. And for whatever reason them niggas got into it, he made Soldier Boy and I knew the nigga was out here stranded. I knew he was out here like he was in a fucked up spot. So I said, Hey yo, I said, I know you out here in Miami, you jammed up. If you need a strap, I got you. So I I pull up on him, get a nigga a strap. The nigga was, you know, showing showing appreciation. I was like, yeah, we came over to the crib. The nigga grabbed some food and shit. It's on some chill shit. I, get, I let him, you know, 
Next day, he went to uh, DJ Academics to do a uh, interview. I went with him to the interview. You know, I just basically showed the nigga love while he was in Miami that weekend. Now, this interview apparently made 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 his ass feel away because Tasha called him a plant. She called him an industry plant, and she asked if uh, the nigga had actually uh, did real work in the community, or if he was just a, a police ass nigga. I was like, man, I don't know what y'all really do because I hadn't been around that part. But I do know he'd be doing some shit. Like, I do be seeing a post that he'd be, like, at the courthouse and all that shit. I kept it real with Tasha. I ain't hate on a nigga or nothing like that. But he got online, and he just felt like he wanted to go do some shit. Yeah. I gave a nigga a blick, man. If a nigga, if a nigga in the rest, like, one thing about it, if I follow a nigga and he follow me, and we, we been, you know, we done had a conversation, and I'm in your city, and I know you jammed up, I'm going to give you love, bro. Like, I just try to make sure a nigga was good. Like, I hope, you know... That would be able to be something that can help a nigga out. I want to help. A, I would want a nigga to help me if I was in the city and I was in a jam and I ain't have a strap. So, uh, you know, I'm like, all right, cool, bro. Like, I got you. Just showing love to the nigga. And and I I heard you. It's a couple of niggas like on that uh, that really be like misconstrued on like the type of nigga I am. My my fucking my phone number is like. I mean, excuse me, my, my catalog, just like the amount of people that I actually know, like, if, say I clout chase on a nigga that don't have nothing for himself, like, that is crazy. I love the idea of the nigga calling out the gang culture and the fucking, you know, the disrespect that happens in the community because there's some major contradictions when it comes to the rap community and all the shit that happens. Like, I don't agree with, like, a lot of shit that happens with rappers. If you see my interviews, when I'm sitting down and, and talking to a rapper, young and they 